Thank you, Hunter. Well, this morning, I want to introduce you to little Haley Holder, this 14 month old girl from Warner Robins with that contagious smile. You never know, she is in the fight of her life. Hers is a story of strength, perseverance, and hope. And her parents told me that's thanks to the many people from the Central Georgia community already in her corner. It's a story that comes straight from the heart. That's all I wanted was my little girl. So. And that's what Blake and Haley Allen got, little Haley Holder, a bubbly girl who's a natural in front of the camera. Can you say cheese? But these snapshots capture a much different journey than the Allens ever pictured for their daughter. Obviously, our memory box looks a lot different than right, most, most people's. Sure, they've collected some fun memories. This is her first bikini. But dig a little deeper. This is her first lock of hair. Lost to chemo. In May, Haley's mother found a lump in her leg. And then within eight weeks, we had already had an x-ray, a CT scan, an MRI, and surgery to remove the tumor. At a year old, Haley was diagnosed with alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma, an extremely rare form of cancer that targets large muscle groups. By her second birthday, Haley will have spent more than half her life fighting for it. Her chemo treatment is now 56 weeks. She has a um, concoction of seven chemo drugs, which they don't typically do on babies. And um, she'll have six weeks of radiation where we'll live in Atlanta. Followed by a lengthy maintenance program and a high risk the cancer will find its way back before she turns 10. I'm just hoping she gets to hit all the milestones that everyone else gets. Yeah. I hope that we're we're still fighting this for 10 years because that means she's going to be here. But they're not in this fight alone. Haley's mom started a blog called H2 Strong, sharing every step of her daughter's journey. The thoughts and prayers and, and good wishes that we get flooded with every day is, it really is uplifting. And the support doesn't stop there. A GoFundMe set up for the family raised nearly $23,000 in a month. On top of t-shirt sales, a golf tournament in August, and a 5K run walk already set for November. All of it, giving Haley's parents some relief and a whole lot of hope. I'm happy to take all the bad as long as she's still here with us. I think that's what we're looking forward to is spending an insane amount of money on her wedding or buying her first car or sending her to whatever college she wants to go to because that means we... We did it. She we did, did it. it. She did it. Now, the Allens wanted to share Haley's story for three reasons. The first, to say thank you for all of their support. Secondly, to remind other parents to be extremely aware of their child's health and any changes that they notice. Early detection can make a big difference. And lastly, to let others feel comfort in knowing that resources to treat even a rare cancer like Haley's are available right here in Central Georgia. If you want to know more about those resources or Haley's condition, or if you're interested in helping the family in any way, I have it all in this story on 13WMAZ.com, including an interview with Haley's doctor at Navicent Health.